hello Libra and welcome to my channel Minds Eye and Inspiration. This is going to be your December reading for 2022. I'd like to say Happy Christmas and New Year to everybody um, and also thank you for all my subscribers. I'm really really pleased and really grateful to everyone that's subscribed. My channel is growing and uh, you know, I'm, I'm so, just so grateful for everyone that's taken the time to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed and you like the, the content that I'm putting out, then please do click that subscribe button. It's totally free to subscribe and as well as helping me reach my goal of my first 1,000 subscribers, if you click that uh, subscribe and notification bell, then you won't miss any future videos that I release. Now, I apologise for my sore throat. <laughs> I've not been very well this week. Um, I'm losing my voice, um, but I am feeling better, which is why I thought I will get some videos recorded. So I just apologise for my croaky voice for these videos. Um, now, before we start, I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you some books that I've got available. We've got a Tradesman Journal. We've got Manifest Success, which is a daily gratitude journal. And The Spirit Within, which is an introduction to mediumship. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my author page on Amazon, where you can buy all those books and more. So do have a look because they make um, brilliant Christmas presents or just something to treat yourself to. I'll also put a link to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual, because she also does monthly readings for each star sign. Both me and my sister uh, also have done our yearly spreads for 2023. Um, that will follow on from this video, Libra. So do check out your 2023 yearly spread as well. Okay, let's look and see what you've got for December. Now, you've got the Seven of Swords card here, Libra. Now, that's warning you about somebody around you or a situation that you're in that might not be as honest or truthful as you think it is. So you really need to make sure, Libra, in anything that you're doing, if you're taking on something new or signing a contract or starting a new relationship or just doing, you know, lending anybody money, anything that you're doing, you just need to be careful and make sure that you have looked fully into it because the Seven of Swords talks about somebody that could be being deceived and it's about you protecting what's yours. Make sure somebody isn't scamming you, Libra. You know, we're coming up to Christmas and there are so many scams around at the moment. So really, really be careful, Libra. I can't stress it enough with the Seven of Swords. When you're doing your Christmas shopping or anything that you're going into, please, please, Libra, make sure it is not a scam. And you've got the Eight of Wands. Again, that's showing some obstacles that you're going to need to overcome in December. And it's saying that you will have the ability to tackle these challenges. But unfortunately, they're going to come up for you. Once you've tackled them, then it will be worth it. But there's just going to be some obstacles and some challenges in your way. And you've got the Hermit card. Now, this is another interesting card to have next to the Seven of Swords. Because the Hermit is about searching for truth, searching for answers and searching for honesty. So again, being next to the Seven of Swords, it really reiterates this dishonesty around you, this distrust. So really be careful, Libra, in what information you tell other people. Don't share your secrets. Be careful with any contracts, any money, any business deals. 
just really be careful search for the honesty search for the truth search for the answers keep yourself safe libra keep your possessions and your money safe and you've got the king of wands as well so the kings are about taking control and it's a fire sign. When I look at that card, I see somebody really fired up, ready to take on anything, ready to take on these challenges. So this may be you, Libra. You may have to really take control. And you've got the Five of Cups. So December could be an emotional month for you. Again, around Christmas, you may be feeling a little bit isolated. With the King of Cups next to that, this tells me that there could be a man or a person with a spring birthday, March, April, May time, who might let you down a bit over Christmas. This person with this spring birthday might not be all that they, you think that they are. And they could let you down over Christmas. I'm just going to pull another card over that and we've got the death card. Now don't worry Libra, the death card does not signify somebody dying. The death card signifies the ending of a situation. So for some Libras that are, because this, you know, this is a general reading, so it's going to mean something different for everybody. But some of you, this could signify a situation, whether that be romantic or business or just a friendship or a hobby. But there could be a situation with another person that comes to an end in December, which makes you a little bit emotional and a little bit upset feeling a bit abandoned and a bit neglected over Christmas. We're just going to put another card over that because we don't want to end this on a sorry note, on a sad note. And we've pulled the King of Cups. So this is saying after this hurt, after this upset, after this person has let you down, Libra, there will be more opportunities that come up for you that are more suited for you that are better for you emotionally, that are better for you mentally, that just suit you and fit you a lot better. So don't worry, you know, you're going to go through a bit of hurt, you're going to go through a bit of upset, but just let yourself know that there will be something better, something more suited to you coming in the long run. And that will be coming for you, I believe, next year. I've got some spirit message cards here, Libra, so I'm just giving those a shuffle and uh, we'll just see what we pull for you. Vulnerability, wow, look at that. We've just talked about the vulnerability in December. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. You know, feeling vulnerable isn't a negative condition. Feeling vulnerable is just a feeling that you're going to get because of something that has happened. So when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling vulnerable, just be proud, Libra, and think I'm only feeling this way because I'm dealing with a situation and I'm going through that process of dealing with it. And this is just one of the feelings that I'm going to get. It's one of many feelings that I'm going to get, but it just shows that I'm dealing with it. But you're strong, Libra. You are strong. And just remember, after you've been through the hurt, the letdown, there is something better there for you. Well, Libra, that's uh, your December reading done. Don't forget, following this video is your year ahead for 2023. And please do check out my author page in the description box below and have a look at all the books that I've got available.
Thank you for watching.